Good morning. Continuing just with the last portion of verse 14, let me read all of verse 14, 1 Peter 3. But even if you should suffer for righteousness' sake, you will be blessed. Here it is. Have no fear of them, nor be troubled. Have no fear of them, nor be troubled. Um, the Bible tells us in 1 John 4 that perfect love casts out fear. We are told in 2 Timothy 1.7 that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and uh, sophronismos, a sound mind, so, some, some translation self-control, but the ability to control your mind, be stabilized, have an equilibrium. If, if perfect love casts out fear, and that's the case, then you are loved of God, and that's why you don't have to be troubled. You don't have to be troubled because you're loved of God, and God supplies your needs in the moments where you feel tension, in the moments where you could be gripped with fear as people stand up against you, as you stand for things that are uh, what honor God, as you stand in a culture that wants to dishonor the Lord and His will, and you stand strong and firm, you don't have to be afraid. But the reason you don't have to be afraid is because ultimately God is the one you're accountable to, and He loves you, and He resources you. Now here's a scripture about His resourcing of you in those tense moments. Luke chapter 12, verses 11 and 12. And when they bring you before the synagogues, and the rulers, and the authorities, do not be anxious about how you should defend yourself or what you should say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. The Spirit comes and ministers to you and strengthens you for life and godliness when you're in the crucible as you're standing with good adverbs for righteousness. So don't be afraid because the Lord loves you. The Lord resources you and take heart in that. And so you can stride forward with confidence, carrying the ethic of God's kingdom into the world. And may the Lord bless you today.